Hello and welcome to Paws channel. Our video today is about a lone wolf that didn't even flinch when a Tibetan mastiff nipped at its leg. Originally these dogs were used to protect Buddhist monasteries and monks of Tibet from animals such as bears, wolves and snow leopards. The Tibetan Mastiff is a phenotypically distinct dog breed that was bred as a flock guardian in the high altitudes of the Himalayas and the Tibetan plateaus. The dogs of Tibet are twice the size of those seen in India, with large heads and hairy bodies. They are powerful animals. During the day they are kept chained up and are let loose at night to guard their master's house. It's been observed that Tibetan Mastiff do act as an alpha male if raised with domesticated wolves. Conflicts may occur between dogs and wolves when the dominant status is ambiguous or when they are particularly close in rank. But most of the time Tibetan Mastiff manages to claim the alpha position. The adult work line Tibetan Mastiff males are robust, well-muscled, agile, have good height and weight and most importantly good muzzle. These dogs are kept in pack to guard hundreds of sheep. While Tibetan Mastiffs are unafraid of protecting their family and property, and will go to any extent to protect their territory, a wolf is simply a more capable hunter as compared to a Tibetan Mastiff. However, this large and powerful dog breed is likely able to stand up to a wolf's attack and may indeed survive the battle. A younger and smaller wolf would normally seek to hide or submit to these dogs quickly. But a full-grown timber wolf would fight back and may easily dominate or even kill one of these dogs. Full-grown wolves have been known to scare away a pack of dogs easily. Dogs and wolves have different battle tactics. Dogs generally attack the neck, head and shoulders, whereas a wolf attacks the back of skull or top of nostrils to crush the bones. Even the largest and most aggressive of dogs would struggle to take down a full-grown wolf. Having said that, it doesn't mean that no dog breed can defeat a wolf, of course there are plenty of them. But in most cases wolves have an edge over dogs, because wolves bite to kill and dogs bite to fight or dominate. Secondly, a normal size wolf will have no chance against a Tibetan Mastiff, Congol, Bully Kuta, Akbash Dog, Doggo Argentino, Game Pitbull, Anatolian Shepherd etc. But a large strong and dominant wolf will definitely be a huge problem for any of the dog breeds mentioned. Secondly, it'll depend from dog to dog and wolf to wolf, not every wolf wants to fight nor does every dog. Lone wolves like the one in the clip are very strong. They survive by hunting on their own and for them coming across pack of dogs and fending them off alone won't be much of a problem. They usually target smaller, weaker creatures to hunt including dogs and sometimes even a bigger dog isn't spared. At some point the lone wolf might join another lone wolf and form its own pack to hunt with. Lone wolves are very dangerous because they must learn to survive on their own. This makes them prone to be vicious and the poor gentle Tibetan Mastiff would suffer. On the top, the bite force of a wolf is an incredible 1200 psi, much larger than any dog. The Tibetan Mastiff bite force is pretty high for a dog at 556 psi, more than a pit bull or German Shepherd, but does not even come close to a wolf. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to like comment and share.